Hey guys, welcome back to a new Deep Dive Monday video. Well, today's video is going to be slightly different. We're not going to be looking at a Maya section or a Maya menu. We're going to be looking at a topic. The topic is going to be UV mapping. A lot of people struggle with that. This is going to be an absolute beginner's tutorial. And what we're going to do is understand UV mapping in five minutes or less. Okay, start the clock. Here we go. Okay guys, well the clock's ticking, so let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is to take an object here, a cube. I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate it, and I'm gonna W and move it over. So I've got two cubes here. Now what's the difference between the two? One I want to cover in a color, and the other I want to cover in an actual texture. So let's say a wood texture, concrete, wallpaper, or something like that, okay? Now the one on the left here, I just have to right click, go to assign new material, click on Lambert, go in here and change that color. And it doesn't really matter whether this is, has a UV layout or not, because I'm basically taking that cube and I'm dumping it into a bucket of paint. Okay, so there's paint everywhere. It doesn't really matter whether that is pro properly aligned or not. Okay, but let's forget about that one for now. When it comes to UV mapping, uh, we're talking about 2D textures. So let's say a photograph of a wood texture. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring that in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click, go to assign new material as before, take a Lambert and instead of choosing one of those colors, like dumping it into a bucket of paint, I'm going to hit this little square thingy, go in, select file, go to my folder, go to my desktop, find, uh, let's see that wood material, uh, where to go right there. Okay. And I'm going to hit six on my keyboard so you can see what happens when it gets applied where we didn't do anything as far as UVing is concerned, okay? Now, uh, what's the deal with UVing? Basically, I got a flat 2D picture of wood and I need to take a, a pair of scissors and cut that paper in a pattern that will allow me to float, fold that around the cube, okay? So if I go to this cube and I go up to UV and UV editor, I will see that there is a cube layout. Now this is the default one created by Maya, but you don't have to use this one. I can go in here and I can go to object mode and then go up to UV and go to camera based, which will look completely different or to automatic. Let's do that. Okay. So I got automatic. Now I need to kind of figure out what goes where right now. I've got six cameras, each facing one face of my cube. And if I hover over the top one, I'll see that that's the bottom one right here. Okay. So I'm going to select that, hit W, that's going to be my starting point. And I want all the others to be connected. So I've got one piece of paper to wrap my cube. So I'm going to right click, go to edge. And as I hover over that, you'll see that the one that corresponds with that one is turned red as well. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to cut and sew and click on move and sew. These two are now connected. So if I hover over the next one, click on it and hit G to repeat last command. I can do that. Hit G to repeat last command, G to repeat last command, and G to repeat last command. So I now have this UV shell, and that's what it's called. Right click, UV shell. And I can basically move that over my texture. And as I do that, you'll see it's changing on the left, right? And I can actually scale it up or down too. Hit R, scale it up, scale it down. So what you want is for this to be properly positioned into that texture. You don't want pieces to fall off, right? So I'm going to right click in this guy. I'm going to go to modify and then I'm going to go to layout. And when I do that, it will be properly uh, positioned on that texture. And as a result, I now have texture on my cube. I'll just uh, close this out, go to auto note and there you go. And where you want to cut that or not is heavily depending on where you want the edges of your texture to go. Right here, you have a flow going from here down over that corner and you got a side looking like this. If this were a wood on top, let's say metal on the side, you would cut it in different places. That's why I like that method, right? So that in a nutshell is the absolute basics of UV mapping. Keep in mind that there are many, many tools in uh, Maya nowadays that will help you to uh, work quicker, to uh, select edges faster, to sew faster and all that kind of neat stuff. But that said, these are the absolute basics. It should be uh, helpful for you to get started in your process. Okay. 
So that's all there is to it in step one. And I would say have fun with that. Thank you for watching my videos as always. And uh, see you guys next time. Bye.